Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorlini Test Prep. Today we'll be going over lesson number 11 on how to use Desmos for the digital SAT math. Equation of a circle. Let's get started. So, let's start with problem one. This one would probably be easier to do by hand, but let's say you forgot how to do the equation of a circle. Here's what you could do to use Desmos to get the answer, to find the center and the radius of this circle. So, I'm going to type in the equation of the circle. And I get something like this. I can remember I can click and I can use the scroll wheel to zoom in. And let's say I want to find the radius. So something you can do is you can click on the topmost point and the bottommost point of the circle and highlight them because Desmos sees those as points of interest because it's the min and the max of the relation. So what you can do here is you can mental note these two points. These diameter endpoints are 2 comma 1 and 2 comma negative 13. Now, um, this diameter will go through the point connecting these two segments. The diameter will go through the center of the circle. So what you can do to find the radius is um, you could just use subtraction, subtract the y-coordinates, top minus bottom, to find the distance between them and then divide by 2. Or you could use the distance function. So that's what I'm going to do just to show you guys how to use that. So I'm going to press the division sign to start a fraction. Now I'm going to type in distance and then 2 comma 1 comma 2 comma negative 13. And then I'm going to divide by 2. And it tells me 7. So that means my radius is 7. So the diameter is the distance. And then we divide that by 2 to get the radius. And now if I wanted to find the center, I could do 2 comma 1 comma 2 comma negative 13 using the midpoint function. And it tells me the center is 2 comma negative 6. So that would be the answer to this one. Another question that you could answer is sometimes they ask these questions where which of the following points lies on the circle? So if you wanted to, you could um, type in the point and see if it lies on the circle. So for example, let's say I want to see if 9 negative 6 is on the circle. I'm going to type it in. And I see it is. Let's try another one. Let's say I did um, 8 comma 4. I see that does not lie on the circle. So maybe that would not be my answer. So um, you might be thinking that, what's the point of this, right? If you knew the equation of a circle, um, this question is a lot easier to do by hand, right? Well. They tend to ask these harder questions that require completing the square, where they don't give it to you in this nice equation of a circle form. So I'm going to show you some of those now, and you'll see that this, this strategy can be a lot more helpful. So let me clear this. So pause this video, see if you can solve it now that you know what to do. So first, I'm going to type in the circle equation. And I get my circle. Let me just zoom in and make it look a little nicer. And now I'm going to click on the, the north and the south of the compass. So 1, 5, and 1, negative 1. And I'm going to just make a quick note of those. So 1, 5, those are my di diameter endpoints. And um, now I'm going to do the distance between 1, 5, and 1, comma, negative 1. Again, just trying to show you guys how to use Desmos. You could just use subtraction to find that. And we're going to divide by 2 to make it a radius. And we get a radius of 3. And for the center, we can use the midpoint function. So midpoint, 
of 1 comma 5 and 1 comma negative 1 and we label it and it tells us that the center is 1 comma 2 and that's the answer to this one. The question asks you to find the center and the radius. So there aren't, at the time of this video, there, there aren't a lot of digital SAT math practice tests out yet. So I could only really find one that tests this concept. And it's from the digital SAT math practice test four. So um, this was at the very end of the harder module. And I think doing it this way or doing it with the graphing calculator makes your life a lot easier. So pause this video and see if you can solve it now that you know what to do. Okay, so first I'm going to type in the equation of the circle. And I get my nice picture here. And now I'm going to label the north and south, northmost and southmost points. And I see it's negative 0.5. Nine point five, and the other endpoint is negative point five, negative ten point five. Okay, and now uh, to find the radius, um, I can do the distance between the two points. Nine point five, and negative zero point five negative 10.5, and I can divide that by two. And I get a radius of 10. And that's the answer for that one. It's asking you what the length of the circle's radius is. And let's say I wanted to find the center. So of course, we could do the midpoint of negative 0 0.5 comma 9.5 and negative 0 0.5 comma negative 10.5 and I get negative 0.5 negative 0.5 or in other words negative one half negative one half and that is the center. So I hope you found this video helpful. I think that um, Again, this isn't going to be helpful for all types of questions like this, but if you get a long completing the square one, especially if it has completing the square with fractions involved, you might be better off just making the picture, clicking on the north and south diameter endpoints, and using Desmos or just doing some quick mental math to find the center and the radius. Awesome. That completes the lesson. Please like and subscribe for more digital SAT math content. If you're interested in my tutoring services, the link to my website will be in the description. I tutor all sections of the SAT at all math subjects from about 7th grade to AP slash early college level. Thanks for stopping by and good luck studying.